Creating high quality detailed model like this one can be very very time consuming and at the same time sculpting these things might really not be the best thing you want to do. And yes, of course we do have 3D scanning data and everything around but most times it's really really hard to actually find those ones that you can get for free. And most of the ones you do get for free may not be tailored down to a particular genre of what you want to work with and because of that we're going to be looking at something interesting today. At the same time, trying to get 3D scan data that you would like to maybe practice with just in case you want to do animations and all that might really also be a problem to actually find online. And at the same time today, we're also going to take a look at that. And with that said, let's get right into today's episode of Free Friday. And I guess you guys will find this interesting. So today we'll be looking at this amazing piece of, you know, 3D scan websites where you can get some very interesting things. The first one has to do with 3D scans that you can get. We're going to go through that really quick. And again, we're also going to talk about like the tools that you can find here and what and what you can do with that. Then we're going to move on right into talking about where you can get digital human that has been scanned. And of course, we've talked about something like this about Tencent24. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can find that. And I've also talked about some realistic 3D scans before. And I'm also going to put a link in the description. But today's one is going to be a bit different. So let's get right into it. All right. So we're looking at Artec 3D. Artec 3D is a 3D scanning solution. They do have hardware and at the same time, they do have software. So just in case you want to, you know, get into 3D, probably you should think about, you know, trying these ones out. And the cool thing is they do have various kinds of hardware in case you want to work with them. And at the same time, they do have softwares that you can actually use to augment with the hardware that you have. But then there is a bit of an icing on the cake. And the icing on the cake for this one is that they do have 3D objects that they have scanned and left totally free online for you to use. So you can choose to either filter these things by the applications that you want to work with. So if, in case you're into industrial designs and that, you can actually filter this. You can also choose to filter this by medical, science and education, art and design. And you can still choose to filter these by the file format that you want. So in case you're working with Blender like I am doing right now, you can also choose to filter this by the file format that you want. And you can simply find only Blender files in case you want to work with Blender files and download them. If you want to get OBJ files, you can filter them. If you want to get things like Maya files, you can also filter them. And at the same time, you can go through study with these things in case you're into, you know, doing things like retopology. Of course, you can do this. If you're into games as well, and let's say you want to get something like this directly into your game game uh you can also simply create a retopo of this which is pretty easy to do these days with the brand new blender you know retopo tools that are available or let's say you can dive into zbrush and do that really quick and bake that out as quick as possible and just before you hit the download button they also have a space here where you can actually take a look at your model in the sketchfab 3d viewer and you can actually inspect your model take a look at what it looks like if you want to see only the diffuse you can see what the diffuse looks like the specularity you can see what it looks like right now. At the same time, if you want to see no post-processing, just in case they contain things like depth of field and all that stuff. And this is really interesting to see that companies like this do have samples of what their tools are capable of doing. But at the same time, they are keeping these things totally free for artists and 3D enthusiasts to actually play with, you know, create whatever they want totally for free. All right, let's dive right into the world of digital humans and see what and what we can do with photogrammy right now and also see what 3D asset that we have totally for free today. ASCO is a digital double company that actually creates digital double of real humans and you know they get to rig this and most of the times you get to see most of their works in films animations and so on and so forth so one of the cool things about we talking about them today is that they've gone ahead and this is actually a long time thing that have been done but i kind of felt like a lot of people didn't know about this so i also think that you know you can actually leverage of this to create interesting facial animation so they do have a free 3d scan model that is fully rigged and ready to go which is called louis and louis is about one point something gigafile which means that you get to find every single thing that you want from the pbr textures to the facial rig to the full head model facial deformation let's say you want to create facial animations and all that stuff or you want to practice how to render stuff or let's say you're trying to practice how to do things like face displacement for pores and all of that interesting things you can go through use this model totally for free 
and you can work with it and of course if you want to download this all you need to do is just go down here link to this is going to be in the description fill your name your email and probably your company and hit download they will send you an email which is going to give you a link to where you can download the one point something giga file which is really really interesting it's good to see how much we've pushed the limit of photorealism and it's really really good to see how far this technology has brought us here and if you're creating things with this model there is a non-commercial license clause which is applied to this so you can use this for study you can use this for your own portfolio i mean create some interesting facial deformations or facial animations for your portfolio maybe if you want to test out some rendering you can also use this for that but it shouldn't be used for commercial assistance now and yeah this is about it this is an awesome free friday so we did talk about some cool stuff and i'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you want more 3d models like this you can go through to the channel there is an entire playlist that talks about so many things that you can get for free and at the same time if you found this interesting and you like this video go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next free friday or the next tutorial or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace